morning everybody welcome back to another day in lockdown do you still consider yourself to be in lockdown let me know because in the uk shops are open and some people are back at work so are we locked down i don't really know i don't know what's going on anymore to be honest but yeah welcome back to another day so today i am gonna pop to the garden center so i thought i'd go all out and get ready to go to the garden center because to be honest i get ready to go to my kitchen so the garden center is like big day out for Suze. I'm gonna be meeting my mum there. I'm so excited. It's just gonna be so nice. So nice. Even if we're social distancing, just to do something kind of normal, it's really nice. So I'm really looking forward to it. But this morning I have my stuff ready. I thought, considering I'm getting ready for my big day out, I'd get ready with you guys and I'd talk you through some of the things that I've been really loving recently because I feel like I haven't talked about beauty in such a long time. Disclaimer, first things first, I've just got up so I am like I can't, I can't see, I can't speak. So we're gonna hope the coffee kicks in at some point soon. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'll show you my outfit in a second. I've gone for something really like crazy because it's a little bit chilly. It's like that summer weather, but it's overcast and a bit windy and just my least favorite kind of weather. So this is what I'm wearing. I think both of these items are actually from Mango, both the cardigan and the dress. The dress is like a midi, it's meant to be a mini dress. It's basically almost a maxi dress on me, but it's like a really nice knitted, fabric. I'm going to throw on a strapless bra underneath but for now I've just kind of thrown it on because I didn't want to film in my pyjamas and I wanted to wear what I'm actually going to wear today. And the cardigan I think yeah is also from Mango. I've had it for quite a while now. Both of these are kind of old so I say old. They're old stock so I don't know if they'll still be online but I'll link similar items in the info box for you guys. That and my slippers are what I'm wearing. I'll probably throw my either my Chanel sliders or my Chloe sandals on with this. One of the two basically just because they're all I have that are unpacked and I'm not mad about that because I love them both. And then we're going to sort out this and this. This is actually like getting a bit long. Hair is growing, the skin is slowly getting better. It doesn't look like it because I picked a load of spots last week. I need to learn to stop doing that. Yeah, I've got a fresh one here and I haven't touched it yet. So it's going to be my goal to just not touch my skin for the foreseeable future and hopefully watch it like get better. But yeah, I'm excited to talk to you about some beauty products and make my little mole eyes look a little bit less moly. Okay, this is so weird. I haven't done a sit down video that's like beauty in this house yet. So yeah, hi, welcome. I travel like, as you guys can see, I've actually packed my skincare into here as well. So I could do that with you too. I've already cleansed my face because I had like spot cream. I use the Mario Bendascu drying lotion on my spots and I had that on from last night. And when I wake up in the morning, it has to leave my face immediately because I can't bear to look at it. So I've already washed my face, but I've got my Oskia Super C capsules. People always like go crazy at these being like, oh my God, plastic. These are not plastic. You can literally like, they're biodegradable. You can literally pop them out in your garden, in your compost. It's amazing. I'm bad at applying this at the best of times, but I don't actually have a mirror right now. So this is going to be interesting. But yeah, this is the most lovely vitamin C in an oil format, which I don't feel like is that common but it's beautiful it feels so nice to apply on my skin and it literally has the most amazing glow after sorry my phone is uh <laughs> it's a friday morning my phone is just going crazy i find that really helps to bring down redness and give my skin the most lovely glow i'm a big fan so sometimes i just literally whack that on and have a no makeup day and just kind of sit with it and i feel like it really does amazing things for my skin i'm gonna follow this up today using the tan Lux super glow spf 30 this is new i'm not even sure if this is actually i think this is available to purchase on space nk now I think it's on the website. So you guys will know I love their Hyaluronic Tan Serum. This has SPF in it, obviously. I've never been so excited about something because SPF feels so heavy on my skin and I really do struggle with it. Like I use it, but I do think it's one of the reasons that I break out. That and makeup, it is so heavy on your skin. Obviously my uh, diet and my love of chocolate does not help, but I do think SPF also plays a part in really clogging my skin up. So to have something light like this, sorry, I'm having to put it down because doing this, on camera and holding a product is not possible. So to have something light that's in a product that I already use, it just feels like it's gonna be a little bit less on my skin. So yeah, I've not been trying this for long, so I will keep you updated, but I really love the glow that it gives my skin and it helps tan it and protect it. Like it is like a miracle little product. I love it. Lauren's also got that and I can't wait to hear her thoughts on it. So yeah, we've both been trying that this week. I'm just super excited about it. Finally in my skincare routine, I'm gonna put Vaseline on my lips before people shout at me for having dry lips. You know when you're not in your usual setup and you're like, where do I start? Like, what do I normally do first? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm gonna be using the Backstage Primer from Dior. This is grubby 
AF. Like I love matte packaging. I'm gonna have to, I am gonna have to turn you on airplane mode. Wow, this is just too much. I love matte packaging, but I do think in white it just isn't ideal. I'm gonna have to bring you in. I like to bring you guys in for skin, even though my skin looks like a turd. But anyway, I've been using primer a lot more recently just because my skin obviously is a bit more blemish prone. And I do find that when my skin is blemish prone, primers are really great for me because it kind of evens out the skin's texture and helps my foundation and stuff to go on a little bit smoother. I'm just taking that down my neck as well. Um, for no reason other than I use too much because I am a blind little bat and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so recently I've actually gone back to my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I've been a fan of this for years, like literally since it launched. I have the shade six. I could do with a darker shade. I remember when I first started using this and it was back when I literally didn't leave the house ever. Like I joke that I don't leave the house now, but I do actually like go sit out in the sun. But I had like a period of like three years where I literally worked indoors every single day and I never went out and I never went on holiday and I just, my vitamin D was so low. And so I think I was shade like five back in the day, but I'm now like a solid six to seven. I feel like this comes in quite a big range of shades as well. I'll correct myself on screen if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's so great. It can go on quite sheer at first and you can build it up to be like super flawless and that's one of the things I love so much about it is it's really versatile and it's so great for if you don't have the best skin sometimes but on good skin days you can also still use it but just use less and it still makes you look flawless and glowy but it's not too heavy on your skin which is beautiful I'm gonna bring you in a little bit <sighs> so as you can see on my forehead it kind of wasn't an ideal color match but it blends in really really well be honest and we're gonna bronze up after this so it's not too bad actually this product is actually better in terms of coverage than a lot of my concealers so i do tend to have it do some of that work especially in my areas that have like redness or blemishes i'm actually very excited i have some new bits from fenty coming because i needed new shades in their stuff and i'm really excited to be able to use some of my fave products again but also i ordered some new bits so very very excited for that these little spots around here i'm convinced it's from where i sit like this needed to stop touching my face also before anyone comments i know i haven't bleached my mustache since i think the last time i did it on camera so yeah you're just gonna have to live with that today i'm just gonna take some of the excess down my neck just so it blends nicely also helps my bronzer that i put on later to blend well onto my neck as well and i'm gonna just take a moment to use a mirror and make sure this isn't a hot mess. That glow over my cheekbones, that is beautiful. Okay, next I'm quickly gonna take a little bit of my Kevin Acorn foundation balm. I have the shade Medium FB06. I get asked about this literally almost every day. That is the shade that I use. It is a little bit light for my skin, but I find that works really well because I kind of flip between doing my under eyes I just do it a little bit like this and then also when i do my blemishes as well it just kind of works for it to be slightly lighter i love this stuff this is so great for covering blemishes it's like a matte cream product it just covers really well and looks kind of natural depends on how heavy you go with it to be honest because i tend to apply it a fair bit but it also just has this really gorgeous like blurring effect which is why i love also using it around my nose and you can also use your finger as well to blend it in if you want a more natural finish but also to get a more precise coverage so yeah that is it for skin it's not perfect but we're getting it's getting better. I have officially given up chocolate for good. My life is now sad. Okay, so this is as far as this winds up. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick. I think in shade 10. Love this and have been using this for over a year now. And it's a really good dupe for the KKW Beauty Contour Stick. So if you guys don't want to pay the customs on that, this is super similar. Like I'm going to go onto the KK Beauty because I have it in my makeup collection after this runs out. But yeah, so I'm just using the same brush I used for my foundation. I have to wash this brush quite regularly because I use it for a lot of things, but I'm just applying it using the same brush in like a stippling motion. I'm not gonna lie, I love doing my makeup in this room. I actually, I forgot what it's like to do your makeup with natural light because the bathroom is so dark. I obviously have my beauty mirror, but it's not the same. This is great. I just hate getting ready in my bedroom though, like on an everyday basis. My bedroom just would end up a hot mess. I already do my hair in here and it's bad enough. You guys don't see, but there is always hair on my window. I'm talking like the sets of extensions. They're always on my windowsill. And I'm just taking any excess on the brush over my ears and down my neck and try and contour my chin a little bit with whatever's left over as well. I don't want to go too harsh today, but I want that like nice kind of natural glam which as a lot of you know is my fave type of makeup i'm gonna do highlight and then i'm gonna move on to blush because i can't see my blush right now i'm using the iconic 
Illuminator Drops in the shade Blush. I've really been liking this highlight. I started using it a few, using? <laughs> using it a few weeks ago. I really, really like it. This shade is just gorgeous on my skin tone. I actually have a darker one, which I'm excited to do a really bronzy look with maybe this weekend when the sun comes back out. But yeah, my love of highlighter has really come back lately. I feel like my face has changed so much over the past couple of years that highlighter looks completely different to how it did when I was into it a few years ago. I've always applied too much to the bridge of my nose, but I really like to highlight here. I just think it looks really cute. Tiny bit on the end of my nose. I don't know why I love highlighting that. I'm just gonna pop any of the excess in the inner corners of my eyes. Take any excess here as well. But yeah, actually loving this. Like, I feel like you could go for a really extreme highlight or you can kind of just keep blending and make it look really natural but it just looks like an actual like natural dewy glow and i really love that they also have blushes now which i'm excited to try i have a couple and i need to try them and they also do a face setting spray which i've been using not every day because it's not such an everyday product for me but yeah i've been really enjoying using that as well it works really nicely as a body mist as well it just makes your body look really glowy blush i'm gonna be using bobby brown's powder pink pot rouge let's say this very natural pinky color and again i just use the same brush i've used this whole time just stipple it in and I just put a bit on my nose as well so yeah sometimes I put a little bit on my temples as well I'm not going to do that today I don't think she says mm, I'm going to do it I feel like that TikTok was like I'm not going to do it girl and then like two minutes later it's like I did it yeah I'm, I'm happy I made that decision it's cute just gives you a really nice like naturally sun-kissed look I'm just going to take some down by the side of my nose as well just gives a really nice like fresh faced look. I've actually just realized I haven't concealed properly. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I'm just gonna use a tiny, as she says, tiny amount. And the reason I'm gonna use a tiny amount is because I'm probably gonna go back over my concealer in a second because what I like to do is do my eyeshadow and then I kind of clean it up. So now I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit, but I'm gonna be using the MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. This is a really lovely, like neutral kind of cool toned brown color and it just works perfectly for the eye look that I've been doing lately. I usually use a matte bronzer all over my eyelid, but I've also been using this recently just to set it and also just provide a really nice, like same color kind of base. So just take that on a flat brush and I start on the outer corner just because that's kind of where I want the most product to be. So once most of the product is on the outer corner of my eye I do the entire eyelid and then bring it up and out. This is my bad eyes so doing this eye is like the impossible task. So now that's done, I'm gonna be taking my Natasha Denona bronzer and I just take a little Real Techniques fluffy brush. What brush is this? Oh, it's rubbed off. I'm not sure, I'm <laughs> not entirely sure, but if it's still available and on sale, I will link it. And I just go over the cream shadow that I've already put down. Some days I do this differently and I'll use a cream base. So I use this eyeshadow pen from Dior. I'm gonna use the eyeliner end of it today still, but some days I would use the little pink cream shadow all over my eyelid instead of the MAC paint pot but today we're going for a nice matte look it's just a little bit more everyday so i'm just using the kind of darker end of the dior color and contour and then i just blend that with my finger and this just gives a nice bit of definition to the eye without being too much i think it works really nicely on dark eyes as well i'm also just going to put a little bit of the kind of pinky shimmery shadow in my inner corners i think that'll look really cute and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to take a little bit of concealer on a flat brush. I feel like this is gonna be more than a little bit. And what I just do, I think you guys will have seen me do this before, but I just map out where I actually want my eyeshadow to be because it always just seems to go a little bit further than I want it to. And this just kind of helps to neaten it up. And then what I do is I leave that, I kind of leave it to set and then I blend over it a little bit later. So that takes away the harsh line, but the coverage is still there. And then whilst I'm doing this, I also just touch up my concealer as well and add a little bit more. So once that's set, I just literally go over that line with my fluffy brush that I used earlier. So for mascara, I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara, which is looking battered. And it is pretty much almost running out, but I have another one right here. So what I've been doing at the moment is I've been starting off using the brush that has less product on it. And then I've been going back over right at the root using the new mascara wand just to thicken everything up but this gives the most gorgeous separation like i think you can already see it just looks amazing and whether i have a fresh tube or an old tube i just love this mascara so much it really does help to give that like lash extension kind of look where they're all really beautiful and fluttery but in a really really like natural way i know lots of lash extensions can look natural but it makes them look like the more natural look and feel lash extensions but without having to actually 
have them which is goals because i had them once and i cannot deal with the lashes like falling in my eye it was not for me <laughs> does anyone remember that were you here back in 2017 let me know and as always i'm going right in to the lashes on the inner corner it's my favorite thing to do i just think it gives the most gorgeous like fluttery false lash kind of look that's a real tongue twister try saying that more than once even once that was difficult for me so as you can see even the one that like just doesn't have a lot on it makes such a difference obviously if i was going for a heavier eye look i would probably go a fair bit heavier on my mascara but for every day this is a beautiful really natural option but one that i think does a lot like it really does the most it really helps to kind of make it look like i have way more lashes than i actually have next i'm going to be using my trusty anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade and using that on a sigma angled brow brush and i just start off by neatening up the underside of my brow basically just make them look really neat but i'm trying not to like go too overboard with them lately so I just kind of go around the edges and neaten the outline of the brow up i'm going to use any excess that's on my brush to kind of go through the front part of my brow because I don't like them to look too harsh here. So today I'm going to be doing the full lip liner shebang. I'm going to be using a lot of different lip pencils and that is kind of what I do on an everyday basis at the moment and I'm aware that it is excessive. So I'm starting off by using Max Stone lip liner and I use this to give more of a shadow definition. There's a lot of like applying and smudging that goes on here. I also apply a little bit to my cupid's bow which is rogue, I know. But it just has a little bit of definition to that shadow that's already there. And this always looks crazy and super 90s when I start doing it. But this is why I use a few different lip liners because this is kind of my base. So now I'm using Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm literally going over everything I've just done on my top lip and I'll use it a little bit on my bottom lip as well. If I had fuller lips, this would be all I would use. But I don't, so I have to kind of give the illusion of having for the lips. The bottom lip is pretty full but the top lip not so much. So I tend to use MAC Stone as kind of the illusion of having fullness and then everything else is like colour on top and this is like the perfect nude. So now that that nude colour is on I'm just gonna apply my final layer which is KKW Beauty. I'm obsessed with this lip liner. It's nude 0.5. This is what it looks like. I love this. It's a really beautiful nude pink so yeah some days i will leave it there today i'm actually gonna add a lipstick this is the kkw beauty lipstick in 90s supermodel i'm obsessed with this it's a peachy pink but it's also a nude like it is the best when i first got it i was actually really disappointed because it looked more nude on the swatches and now i understand why like it looks really pink when i hold it up that doesn't translate even if i apply it onto my bare lip without any lip liner and i love that it's a matte finish as well like i barely have to reapply this throughout the day and i just love the kind of finished result that it gives i'm just going to take my it cosmetics brush onto my mac give me some bronzer i had to literally like this was going a bit funny on top you know where sometimes it's got a bit of like moisture on the top and i had to literally like it's got scratch marks because i had to get a knife and scrape the top layer off but we are back in business and this gives the warmest most lovely glow to my skin it also just helps to set everything as well which is great because especially that like, i've got an obsession with wearing hats at the moment and it just stops all of the makeup on my forehead from moving straight away so yeah take some of it on my cheeks on my nose down the side of my nose really working towards that sun-kissed glow that i love so much and then i take it down my neck as well kind of use it to soften my contour line and i don't put too much on my chin because i just find like it kind of helps to elongate my little round face but yeah that is where i think i'm gonna leave it today some days i go in with a bit of extra definition with my fenty beauty bronzer this is in the shade coco naughty i say some days today i'm gonna use it this doesn't really look like much when it's going on but it actually like does pack a little punch i've just ordered some new cream bronzers from Fenty and I'm so excited to try them. I've got so much from them that I'm really excited about coming. Their base products are just the best. So I think that is where I'm gonna leave it for makeup. Just like a really nice bronzy, glowy, natural glam. And then we're gonna do hair and pray that I'm not running too late. I haven't actually looked at the time whilst I've been up here. Okay, so this is what my hair is up to today. I just left it to dry naturally the other day at the top half I um, styled using heat but the bottom half I didn't because it was under my extensions and my extensions at the moment I have are wavy like I've styled them into a heat wave so I just whack them in and kind of everything just kind of lends quite well except the top layer so I still have to do the top. It's still a little bit crimped today so we'll see 
how we get on but i'll talk you through my styling tool that i've been using for the long wavy hair i've had it for a while and i feel like you guys might have seen it before but i'm really really into it at the moment and i love how it even makes just like my natural hair this is kind of obviously a mix you can really see there's like a mix of different curls like the ones that are kind of a bit matted uh, they're mine <laughs> those are my own curls but the top ones these are the waves from the waving wand i really like how it makes the top half look and it helps my different layers blend together really really well as well so i don't feel like you need to have extensions to use this tool i think it can still look really nice if the particular wand i have isn't in stock i will link something similar in the info box below because i feel like beauty works have just brought out something that's basically similar except it's baby pink which is so cute i can't leave it i wish mine was baby pink but yeah really happy with that at the moment so let's let's get into it okay so this is the one i've been using as you can see it kind of goes in and then you have this bit on this side and it clamps over the hair and that's what gives it that wave it like holds it down over the heated bit i don't know what this is called it literally has like a random code on the inside and it just says fabulous pro stylus tools on the actual wand so like i said i'll try and link and i'll link similar as well in the info box but that is literally like it's so easy to use i had a few questions which was surprising to me because not everyone always asks me about my extensions but did have a few questions on the extensions i'm using i'm using the hair rehab london rooted coachella blonde i love hair rehab i feel like they are one of the best hair extension brands that i've ever used and i've used a few someone also asked me the other day they were like do you think that extensions cause breakage because obviously i talk about my hair and the state of it a lot and um what i will say is that the reason that i'm so funny and i talk about like trying to do no heat styling lol about talking about that whilst i'm literally about to do a heat styling demonstration the reason i talk about like not using heat on my hair so much is because heat styling on bleached hair was actually what led my hair to be so damaged as you can see it's my top layers that are kind of like the most broken they kind of bear the brunt of the heat if that makes sense so that is why you'll find that my hair my natural hair is actually very like long these bits are super long because they weren't being heat styled the most compared to like the front of my hair and these top layers when i was curling them i think the heat was up too high i went and did a shoot where they used zero heat protection and like the hottest heat styling tool under the sun like that the amount of steam coming off my hair i was like this isn't going to be good. So yeah, that is what I would say actually kind of like causes breakage with your hair. I think extensions can cause thinning if you don't look after them properly or if you say I was to wear these overnight, I don't think that would be good for my head and I think I'd probably lose a little bit more hair. And if you have like taping extensions, not kind of caring for them properly and if they like pull your hair out can cause thinning. But my hair is actually like super, super thick at the roots it's literally just my breakage from heat styling on bleached hair because as you can see the uh, brown is coming through thick and super healthy so that combination is what is going to cause breakage because i think people just have this misconception that extensions are what cause it so i thought i'd talk about that quickly just because i saw a comment on my channel and i feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about hair extensions and actually like heat styling and bleaching your hair if your hair can't take it is the devil some people's hair takes it really really well sadly mine is uh just not one of those heads of hair. I mean, I did literally go from like the darkest hair I've ever known to blonde, so it was always gonna happen, but lesson learned. My hair does apparently have its limits. So as you can see, these are like super easy to whack in and given the amount of like hair, like the length of it, they're 22 inches, I believe. It's actually really not too heavy on my head. I only start to feel it at about like seven or eight in the evening if i've still got them in i'm not sure i'm gonna have to heat style this today this is gonna be great so in an ideal world what i would do is fully kind of reheat style the whole head if my hair wasn't a broken mess because it would help everything to be unified so someone said to me the other day oh you shouldn't have in my video comments they were like you shouldn't have even heat styled your own hair you could have just braided it and then stuck the extensions in i think that's what they were saying because i definitely couldn't sleep with braids in overnight with the extensions in that would be so uncomfortable i think i've only done that a couple of times and i've been like drunk like so drunk anyway <laughs> things we don't need to talk about right now so what i would say is like doing the whole thing all the way down with the extensions and your actual hair helps it to blend so much better because the waves from my natural hair will match the exact waves that the extensions are doing and if you want to see i'll link the vlog that i'm talking about so that you can see me heat styling literally the extensions were straight it was the first time i'd used them they'd arrived in the post that morning so you can see what it looks like when you just do the whole strip of hair all the way down but i'm not going to do that today because i just don't want to put too much extra heat on my hair however i am going to do this front bit because it wasn't playing my game yesterday and it's still not playing my game today so uh we're gonna 
we're gonna work on that. So I've just used the Tresemme heat defense spray. I've been using this for years, I really rate it. I actually had a genius idea the other day. I took my IGK purple toning drops and dropped it. You can use like the purple toning drops for anything, like they're multi-purpose. You can stick them in shampoo, conditioner, hair masks. I use them in my hair gel when I gel my hair back so that these orange bits aren't like shining through and it kind of works on toning them whilst I've got my hair slicked back as well. I've put the purple toning drops in my leave-in conditioner and I also put them in here. So basically my hair is just being toned at all times. So I'm just waiting for that to dry so that I don't like burn my hair. But this is on heat 170, which is the lowest heat. So I don't tend to whack it up. You can whack it up higher. I just think that is not good for your hair. All Bablis tools that I've used seem to have this ability to turn the heat up. I don't think it's necessary. Like I'm pretty sure GHDs are on like a constant one temperature and it's meant to be the, the perfect temperature for like doing the most, but like the least damage at the same time. So I wouldn't recommend whacking this up to like 180 or 190. I was doing that with my previous Babyliss curlers and I'm pretty sure that's what like really didn't help my hair. Yeah, so I'm just literally doing this for like less than five seconds at a time. So yeah, there we go. And it just kind of sits, you can see it's sitting more in line with like the rest of my hair as well. If you're an extension wearer, you'll know the pain, but when you have like shorter layers, they can kind of stick out a little bit and it kind of gives the game away. So what I do is just tend to run the straightener like when it's still kind of, it's not fully hot, but I just tend to run it over and just tease those kind of down a little bit more. I'm gonna do this side as well because it's just gonna annoy me that they're both not matching up. But yeah, I'm loving this hairstyle at the moment. I might try it at the weekend where you kind of like have bits that like go to the back and then have it like this. I think that would look really cute. I'm also really excited to see what it looks like when it's whacked into like a big ponytail. I think it will look so cool. So yeah, I'm just really happy to have really long extensions but that have a bit more of a like natural wave to them. I'm not gonna hold that down for very long at all because that wave was already pretty good but I just want the rest to kind of match up so yeah that is kind of how it's looking you can also use a curl cream i'll just grab my curl cream and show you so i've been using this curl cream and it just kind of is meant to help stop the hair frizzing and define the curls a little bit more and i kind of try and use it as well to help like merge my hair like this hair with the extensions as well i also feel like it helps to hydrate the hair a little bit as well which is never a bad thing the past couple of years have taught me nothing is how important it is to keep your hair like well hydrated like i literally oil my hair every day to every other day now and the condition of it is so much better but yeah so those are my waves today i've kind of gone for a more relaxed look than yesterday yesterday i am um, literally had the waves start right up the top and it was really cute but i'm just gonna go a little bit more every day with them today just to avoid too much heat styling on my hair i know not everyone's a big fan of my long hair but i am a big fan of the mermaid waves and anything that helps me like love my wavy hair is goals so yeah that is my finished look thank you for getting ready with me it's garden center time i'm ready to go i'm driving so these are essential i don't think they make them anymore but if raybell make anything similar i will link them this is my garden center ootd these are the kind of olive trees that one up the back of my garden hmm. how do i get these home are these gonna fit in my car i don't think so i'm getting a grape plant I love grapes. This is so exciting. So apparently these little things are the grapes. Ah, that's amazing. I'm officially old. 30 next year, guys, 30 next year. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but I want it. And it's not very expensive. I also love this tree. It is crazy. I really want it. You guys, I've just scored a lemon tree for 95 pounds. I've never been so happy. at the garden center didn't i look at you just kidding you can't buy these at the garden center i have had the nicest day i actually have had the nicest day it's been so great so excited for my lemon tree to arrive i got a fig tree i think i might have told you this i got a fig tree and a grape tree oh my god the, le the lemon tree was just like the absolute star of my day it was so great i was literally walking around at the garden center saying that I wanted a lemon tree. And I was like, oh yeah, that'd be great. I couldn't find a lemon tree anywhere. And then I got to the end of all of the trees and there was a lemon tree on sale. One lemon tree. Literally spoke that into existence. It was so great. Oh my God, I'm being jumped on. Nala doesn't actually want to cuddle with me. She just likes lying in Ryan's part of the bed. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that now, it's bedtime. See, this is what happens. You're too nice to her. But yeah, that is my day. In a nutshell, bought a lemon tree. Super, super happy. I'm so buzzing for it to arrive next week because i had to have it delivered because it's big it's not a small little tree it's a it's a tree 
I don't think I showed you, I don't think I vlogged it, I was too excited and just desperately trying to flag down a member of staff to snap it up before someone else came along. Not that I think they would have because I feel like it's a pretty niche thing to want a lemon tree but I'm, I'm excited so yeah that's for my day. Hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. As you can see I am now no longer ready, I have spot cream on my face and a lot of oil which I don't think you can see and we are going to go to bed. So that run is already like these two it's just me just me that's awake i'm gonna be sending footage to lauren and it's gone midnight this has been a weird little day in my life slash get ready with me but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye